This is Kampire and this is my guide to Kampala nightlife. If I had to pick three words to describe Kampala nightlife, crazy, chaotic, and endless, because our nights do not end. <laughs> People party until like their next obligation the next day. Nights out often end at like nine or 10 in the morning, um, and there's still places that are open, still places that are banging like between 4 a.m. and nine in the morning. The night can go on as long as you want it to. The sound of Kampala nightlife is a lot of Ugandan pop and Ugandan dance hall influence, especially in the mainstream. We also listen to a lot of West African Afro beats, uh, American pop and R&B. But now that there's more of an underground scene, we're getting to hear a lot of different genres and different types of music that are less mainstream. Nyege Nyege is a festival, it's a label, it's a residency space, it's an ethos, it's a crew of ragtag artists and producers, it's a place for people to come together and sort of create alternative ways of being and appreciating music in Kampala. The places I love to party in Kampala, they're quite diverse, so one thing that is maybe specifically Kampalan or East African is the car wash situation. So on a Saturday afternoon or a, a Sunday, you take your car to get washed. And then within the car wash, there's like people selling drinks. You can get some pork on a stick. And then your night just sort of revolves or devolves from there. And then there are also a lot of like smaller bars, one called Hollywood, which is a Ethiopian bar where we throw a lot of nyege nyege parties. Places like Capital Pub, which is in Kabalagala, which is like a famous nightlife strip in Kampala. And Capital Pub, I think, is one of the oldest clubs in Kampala. If you want the real experience of going out in Kampala, you have to try those places. Post going out rituals, you definitely have to get some street food uh, whatever time you come out of the club before you go to bed so that you don't end up hungover the next day. You have to like get a Rolex, which is like a chapati wrap omelette thing that is everywhere in the city at pretty much any time of day before you crawl into bed. <laughs> I love that people really love to go out. I love that we're dancers and that's how we appreciate music, that's how we come to understand music. And it's really a communal thing that you create with the DJ and the dancers. And it's one of those places where everyone dances together. Like you don't have to know each other to approach each other on the dance floor. And somehow it always ends up being one of those like dancing circles where everyone has their turn in the middle. It's one of those things that I take for granted about Kampala is that it's a great dancing city. And it's only now that I've started to like travel and play in other places that I realize that this is like special and unique.